One thing that is becoming more and more apparent to me as the days go by, something is going on. We hear about this moronic situation we're all becoming embroiled in. We know the truth of it. We've looked outside of this country to see what other people are saying. At least I hope we have. And we've determined that, you know, we hope the situation stays as it, as it is. And it's not too much to worry about. In fact, we know it isn't. And then we look at what's going on in this country and the way they're trying to make us feel. And I, I think it's very important that we need to not be too judgmental too quickly. We need to take a step back and take a little bit of perspective about the situation and not become too afraid. Let me explain. <laughs> How do everyone? Welcome back to the channel for a Saturday. Hope you're doing all right. My day's not been too bad. Had a good live stream this afternoon. Uh, quite a few people on there. We're picking at 100 or so quite regularly now, so that's really great. And I'll uh, keep them coming because everyone seems to like to get together once a day and put the world to rights, which is what it is all about. Well, putting the world to rights. We have to gain a bit of perspective here. We really do. I, I do worry daily that people are too dependent still on the news and, uh, you know, GB, GMB, Daily Mail, so, you know, the, the paper media and the TVs. And they all seem to be spouting the same narrative. We're all doomed. We're all in the shit. We're all going to die. You know, the usual headlines. And when we have restrictions announced, you know, around Plan B is announced about the same time all the Christmas party mumbo-jumbo come out. And then the day after, we hear about a Plan C as well. All for what? I mean, have a look at this headline. There are headlines like this, literally, all over the press now. And uh, they vary from this basic outright scaremongering to cases about individual people and what's happened to them and they're trying to steer our thought processes down the path of we're all in trouble yet again what they really want to do is cancel our christmas they they want to cause problems like they did last year but you know and meanwhile parting your way to their heart's content at downing street well we're having none of it anymore are we at least i hope we're not i want to do uh videos like this semi-regularly just to try and remind you and try and encourage you to just step back step back and just take a look at the bigger picture is everything they're saying completely true is everything they're saying gospel where are you reading it what are you reading how are you reading uh, where are they getting the facts from is it an overreaction is it an exaggeration is it true how do they know it why do they know it what data are they referencing and then check in other places in other countries to see what they're reporting instead and then make your mind up when you've you know checked in a few places that's what it's all about but what i'm trying to say is don't let it frighten you at the end of the day they're going to do what they're going to do and unfortunately with the british stiff upper lip that we all suffer from uh, i i do wonder whether we will do something about it at some point i don't i don't know i i don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to incite anything far from it. I'll be off here faster than you know what if I was caught doing that. But they're going to do what they're going to do, or they're going to attempt to. And usually when this narrative appears, you know trouble's coming down the track. I just don't want anybody to be too anxious, too scared or too frightened, really. Uh, that's what it's all about, just believe in yourselves believe in your own judgments believe in each other and hopefully we'll all get through this anyway i'm off i'll see you in a bit of another one to luke